Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor of Computer Science, Harvard University, Jonathan Zittrain. Well, I'd like to thank the disembodied voice for that warm introduction and wish you all a very good morning. And have us think back for a moment. 35 years ago, this space was a grassy knoll not far from Moffett Airfield where they were wondering where Skylab was going to come down. And in the consumer IT space, consumer IT was basically a digital watch. Advanced consumer IT was a digital watch with two zones. I don't know if people remember zone two. I'm going to tell you the time somewhere else in case you were unable to add or subtract. And then in late 1977, we saw the introduction of the first personal computer, meant not only just for consumers, but really for hobbyists, the hardcore consumers among them, the type of people that would go to Fry's Electronics for a fun Saturday afternoon. Within two years, something very interesting had happened. Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankston had invented VisiCalc, the first digital spreadsheet ever. And suddenly, businesses started to notice what was going on in the hobbyist corner of the world. That phenomenon, that transformation was made possible because of a playful, hobbyist spirit that then found its way into enterprise IT. In 1977, I think, when you thought about enterprise IT, it's either a disembodied voice talking to Captain Kirk and Scotty, or perhaps large Vaxin, those machines that represent connecting everybody to one big mainframe. And the fire alarm is going off in a way that suggests either a perfect accentuation to my point or that the building is burning down and becoming a grassy knoll. I will await guidance from the authorities as to whether we should continue calmly or get the hell out of here. Is there a... Uh... <laughs> Vince Cerf sowing panic, as is his want. There we are. All right, I promise not to say anything bad about the disembodied voice ever again. <laughs> there, see, that was the promise they were waiting for. It really is more like a 1967-69 HAL 9000 interaction. But we digress. So we end up with enterprise IT borrowing a little bit from the consumer space. And of course, you might remember back in the late 80s to the time of the proprietary information networks that in turn got displaced, surprising most of us, from an unlikely corner, the internet. The internet being a network whose before then primary function for high bandwidth communications appeared to be things like the Somerset Wheel of Cheese cam. I know people remember that. There was a Wheel of Cheese in Somerset, England, and you could watch it ripen over the internet. Extremely popular site, and I guess I've just given it a bit of a bump right now. Um, but it's those kinds of playful things that then turn out having great use in the enterprise. It's the kind of thing that allows us to almost casually decide to live stream an event like this. And greetings to those of you in the live stream universe. May your fire alarms not be going off right now. So that kind of interplay between the consumer space, the enterprise space, and back again, that's one of the themes probably worth thinking about as we look at what's happening in the mobile space, the social networking space, and of course, given the uh, set dressing, the cloud space around us.